Samuel Ibrahim Koroma is my name. And um, we take a look at our first bite here this morning, and it's the wife in his paper. It has on its front page, All Road Leads to Bintimani, Miss Sierra Leone 2023 Holds Tomorrow. And arise IIP, an economic turnaround for Sierra Leone. Those are the stories you can find yourself on the front page of AYV newspaper, and you can grab a copy of it for just 2,000 Leones and read more on its content. I'm away from AYV newspaper. The satellite reads on its front page no run, no rerun elections after peace dialogue as APC agrees to participate in governance. And big boost to Sierra Leone Premier League. Okay. Um, Nasit DJ receives World Bank team. Those are the stories on the front page of the satellites. Away from the satellites, Aoko has on its front page, Sierra Leone is not broken. And it's a statement from the leader of the main opposition, All People's Congress Party, Samura Matthew Wilson Kamara. And his photograph goes with that story. Namati launches checklist for land investment in Sierra Leone to solve land controversies. And um, attempted baby smuggling foiled at Rokupa Hospital, says medical superintendent. And CCSL press statement on the recently mediated dialogue between the government of Sierra Leone and the All People's Congress Party. Parliament approves eight nominees, including three ambassadors. Those are the stories on the front page of Awoko in his paper. Now, from Awoko, we take political, it reads on its front page, we are all winners. And they are quoting Samura Kamara, who is um, the former presidential candidate for the main opposition APC. KKY on Salon's energy drive and MPs concern over river pollution, less than 10% of journalists on NASIT. Um, those are the stories on political newspaper. We from political newspaper, we take the Times SL. It has on its front page, following outcome of dialogue, APC supporters feel betrayed by Samura Kamara. Despite tough economic situation, RC Bank declares 94 billion Leon's profits in 2022. Signing UN Women's Empowerment principle, Principles, Africa leads an inclusive workforce. And those are the stories on the front page of Times SL newspaper. Away from the Times, Voice of Salon reads on its front page, APC government signs peace accord. Disability Commission boosts three DPOs with 48,000 new loans. And um, assault on Salon Compass newspaper editor by security personnel Lea Mara writes, Independent Police Complaints Board. Um, Maki Cement Factory flouts government agreement. NASIT Director General receives World Bank team. Away from that story, Exclusive has on its front page, Dialogue 12 Resolution Signed. Arise Production Center for 3,000 Jobs. Okay. Away from, awareness, away from exclusive newspaper, Independent Observer reads on its front page, Why Trust China King Ho? It's a question being asked there. SLCB Boost Feed Saloon. Um, Global Times has on its front page, APC MPs end boycott, President Bill departs for Brussels. And 500,000 jobs in five years, President Bill determined to deliver. And that's a statement from the Labour Minister, Mohamed Yaman Swari. Essential drugs, IGP cell boost police hospital. And away from Global Times, awareness reads on its front page as she inspires the contestants with her personal experiences. Her Excellency Fatima Madabio holds dialogue with Miss, Univers Miss Sierra Leone 2023. Arise proposed liberalization of propel ports and railway is a generational and visionary development. And um, many other stories are there on the front page of Awareness Times newspaper. And away from that, AZ reads on its front page. Talk and do. Um, LRMG fulfills 75% of Siloom. Oh, police, in, police, I think, police in marketing borders. So, okay, Siloom Premier League, I beg your pardon. 
Um, Sierra Leone wins as APC and SWP reaches agreement. Sierra Leone to commence oil and gas drill in 2024. And that's from the Petroleum Directorate as they disclosed. And President Bill determined to deliver on jobs, on jobs creation promises. And those are the stories you can find yourself on the front page of AZ newspaper. And it happens to be my last bite to this edition of the of the program front page and the studio this morning to help us discuss the issues. Here I do have Honorable Bamichidi, who is a political and social analyst and is one of, of course, the usual faces on AYV. It's a pleasure having you as always, Honorable. Uh, good, uh, good morning, Samuel. Pleasure being here. Thank you. And that's in Musa, who is a <coughs> colleague journalist. That's in as always, it's a pleasure having you. Thank you and good morning, listeners. And thank you for coming. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. And you've listened to a number of. Um, um, stories that are published on the various newspapers that we have in front of us this morning to discuss. Just as it is on the front of your wife in his paper, many other papers do publish the same, and it has to do with the peace talk, um, the dialogue, um, which was ongoing at Bintman International Conference Hall, and um, for which one of the papers do um, publish that the former presidential candidate for the main opposition, APC, speaks from his heart, saying that Sierra Leone is not broken and on political newspaper it reads, we are all winners. And many other papers do also publish stories having to do with the same. But I'll start off with your name, Bamichidi, taking into cognizance the fact that you've been a politician, I think you're always a politician. Bamichidi, what does this one mean for Sierra Leone? Like he said, we're all winners. First of all, can I have some water, please? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Let me give you mine. Thank you. Feel free. Um, and, and, and I'll take all of the stop. Um, looking at the country, we are utterances as politicians. We should be mindful of our tongue. What we say goes a very, very long way. They were hyping this thing. We want to be wrong. We want um, aggregated, uh, disaggregated data presented. But that's not be but why will you tell the supporter when you know, so the agenda not get nothing for this? Look at the agenda. But keep the fire burning, these are all the repercussions. In the sense, look at it back closely, the examiner. The people have been misinformed, the social media misinformed their followers, and everyone's going with two different uh, aspirations to have a one uh, that their vote matters. But at the end of the day, looking at the holistic picture, we want stability and peace. I keep telling people that solar board puts right speed. Not even that good. Let me to say, take back with it. From 96 to date, we have been patching this election. So now, it's a win-win situation for Sierra Leoneans, that is, APC, SFB. All of them will say, during my time, we try to bring stability and peace for loving Sierra Leone, taking the cognizance, the national pledge. But when this thing come up, every day we hype it. You asking me the same question, it brings up. I mean, somebody will ask you a stupid question to know. Therefore, pay that with a go. What's the peace about? What's the peace all about? It's a give and take situation. Sure, sure. If you'll be balanced, there will be no dialogue. No meeting. And I usually tell people one phone call solves the matter. It works in Kenya. That's why I bore that face. I keep hampering that one down people's head so that they can understand that. When you talk, this is a, the way they solve it now. It's not the, the European kind of pattern. It's an African tradition that we all do. Me, a church member, that political party. Mr. Bidon Bia said, You said, Yeah. That's an African tradition. That's the way we solve our problem. But you are looking at the International Committee from the one. When that woman, the Vice President. Former Vice President the Gambia. of Gambia. A, a statement. I said, oh, this is going to be another different thing. But every day you wake up in the morning in the social media, we are going to have a new one. I, I told them the President doesn't have the authority. He can call election, that is within his power. The authority to call another election is not within his power and it's not possible. That is why 
They have transitional period. After election, you have the time to go to court. Yeah. I'm not repeating myself on that court issue because if they believe the court, that one, that is why all that came in the forefront. That is, our judicial system is working. Some of our institutions. So okay, let us see now how best we can harmonize it based on international best practice. But sometimes we follow international best practice, which is very impractical to us. Huh? And then we look at the end result. You are saying inclusive government, this is why, that is why we are moving from first past to proportional, proportional representation. At the end of the day, the way it is manifesting in the country, be honest with you, it's, not, it's, it's the same way that they call behavior both parties are making. So how do you bring people aboard? And it's only Saloma and Fuli and Fuli for Sila with the Golomo. It's a bad side. There will never be stability and peace. You, do have, you need to have a cohesive nature. That's what we did it. Pakabat life for manager, unless you manager. Why should we disintegrate in this period of our time? I'm Honor Banchi because of the sensitive nature of the topics that we're discussing intermittently, we'll be talking Creole. I know. It's our own. That is why sometimes it's I express well, myself in Creole for make people understand that it's the all the reason that we have to go Creole at some point in time. Um, that's in Musa. You've, you know, you're from within Honorable Banishi the scene. He mentioned a, lot, a whole lot of things. But again, the government and that of the main oppos opposition, APC, they agreed on 12 key resolutions. And one of the papers do publish the 12 resolutions. First, of the, first amongst the resolutions is that the president will make a national address on dialogue, unity, and peace. The second says the APC will end its non-participation in governance. And let me see, the seventh says, upon the assumption of their governance position, all elected APC MPs, all elected APC officials, mm -hmm. members of parliament, mayors, chairperson, and councillors mm -hmm. will have the issues of entitlement addressed accordingly by appropriate institutions. And again, Honorable Bamichidi mentioned that one. And the 12th point, uh, the 12 point says, um, there shall be an action and commitment by the parties to implement agreements reached during this mediation dialogue. To this end, the government of Sierra Leone and the APC party commits to the establishment of an independent committee of moral guarantors whose membership shall be agreed by the parties to support and monitor the implementation of this agreement. Now, the term moral guarantors, now one with very big. Plenty of things will come to mind when someone speaks of that particular term. But before we go deep into this point as um, Musa, what do you feel this one mean for the people of Serbia, Musa? Yeah, yeah, well, uh, it signals a lot of good things for Sierra Leone. So many good things. I must admit, the APC made it tough on government. They made it tough on all of us. We are G3. But, 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 but I think it will be necessary at some point in time. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. I, I'm admitting now, they made it tough on government, and they made it tough on all of us citizens. It's good to take positions, and when you take positions, you stand by what you say, and then the outcome is something that we are all happy about. The APC is happy, the SLPP is happy, and citizens are happy. Investors are also happy. You know investors don't want to come to this sure, country. Sure right. But they could not have come here under that cloud of the APC, the, the, main, the one and only operation for now, not taking part in governance. No, you spoke about the president who is to make a speech. Yes. On that speech issue, well, he's out of country now, but he'll be back shortly. His speech writers must make sure that the words are carefully chosen. You know, words are weapons. The tongue, this tongue is, is, is a weapon. Those who are going to write the speech must make sure that they choose the words rightly, words that can be soothing, words that can unite, and words that make sure Sierra Leone moves ahead. Because now we are all observing now. They, they, they sign documents. What is left now is implementation. All of us are watching if they are going to implement those things letter by letter, paragraph by paragraph. That is what all of us are observing to see now. 
Because in that implementation process, if they begin to falter, then we don't want them to open all wounds again. You know, the, the survival of the state is much more important than the SLPP and the APC. Very true. Sierra Leone is bigger than all of us. And some of us know what happened during the war years. We were in the provinces. We saw people suffering. We saw houses burnt. We saw limbs cut off. We don't want to go back to those years. So it, it's, it's, it's a good sign now that when we disagree, we go to the table, we thrash things out, and then we come back, all of us rejoicing. Samuel. Okay, now, Honorable Bamichi, one of the papers here do have, on, it has on its front page, following outcomes of dialogue, APC supporters feel betrayed by Samuel Kamara. This is a question for both of you, Honorable Bamichi and Musa. Um, so, at this particular moment, what then should we expect of the APC party, particularly so with their supporters? Because with these kinds of headlines, it's, it, 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 it says so many things. It's because the volume. It, it says so many things. Because the fact is that Tony Obamichidi, if the supporters feel betrayed, automatically what you will see come into play, the bad blood still going to exist among people. Tony Obamichidi, your take on this one. Samuel, okay, I talked about this thing at the beginning. That is, now we the go open remote, with your tongue and say the things them sometimes violent words, utterances like he was cautioning the speech writers to the choice of words. Mm -hmm. yes. We keep telling this wrong information. I mentioned that there will be no wrong according to our constitution. But another catch he mentioned, I'll pick it back from you again. The implementation can make or break because sincerity of purpose for both the SLPP and the APC, when they are, when they're talking. Somebody asked me a question, I think it was in, on Sky Radio. I said, this same question that they asked we as journalists, we will talk with the media player, but they will keep it. Now they say, we'll pay them, not to your business. The way the president can get away from that one, if they want to think is, he has executive authority, mm -hmm. which is his own discretion of power. He can utilize because he has no veto power. He will tell the, exec the executive of parliament, work out something for them. But we have a feeling, we have a tradition, when governments are always renegotiated, when you, you have, uh, people have to be paid their salaries, or after retirement, their benefits, and everything. They will renegotiate the election that they papa get the money. That's where people fall out. This, I'm telling you the honest truth. They will begin to do, i give you a simple example. I have a friend of mine. They know they know they're not court case, they know free up and they work. But head of department haven't signed that benefit. Is it fair to that individual? When you work something, clear benefits. So to go to the whole day. You talk now, the Minister of Finance will use your executive power. Certain bills will go to them. You have legal opinion from the law officer, you have legal opinion from every sector. Because of certain selfish interests and motive. They sit on it, and then we tell you, that last governor will do this, that this government will do it. What are we running in this country, a kangaroo, a kangaroo state, a banana republic? We should be talking about rule of law. That is so bad thing. That is, I'm waiting. Let us don't be asking certain questions that will ignite another debate yeah. that is not even necessary. Let's give peace a chance. And then, to me, I'm not going to talk about this um, dialogue because everybody went there. They knew where they went and they signed it. Okay. Because the only thing they did, they didn't tell people, the supporters, that we know we own. It's not part of the agenda. They were fooling people, and the social media was worse with so many nonsense. And they wrote to them. That's the back. That's the backlash of your supporters being betrayed because they gave the impression that we go have another like your own, which is not even possible. But now take the half piece we have and maintain it so we have a cohesive unity in diversity. And make sure the winner take all situation we are trying to avoid don't repeat his ugly shadow again. Okay, so now, um, Musa, quickly on this one. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Okay. Better we ask this question. Then let, let's talk about Creole. Uh, I walk around this morning from yesterday. We walk around. We already talk around the grassroots APC supporters. They, so, so, so some of them are not happy with the outcome of this peace talk. Korea misinformed. So, um, I, I may ask you wonder why Salomon the thing so. What it makes Salomon the thing so? Say Samuel don't betray him. Akisola they don't go then betray them. Una una illegal leaders. 
whatever decision they take, now it will, it will have best interest and now the best interest of Samoan. They take. They, they will not do that in Samoa. They, now people will learn book. They are level, they'll be leaders in diverse ways. So they know what to do. Now we will put them there. If they don't go decide for now and for the country, we will have to accept them and let Samoan go before. That have have grumble, grumble, and that provocation over social media must stop. We, we, are, we are reading the provocations. They, 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 they are tired and they are, they are sent audios provoking the situation. That must stop. Sierra Leone must move forward, Samuel. Okay, now, on, as we wrap up with that particular issue, mm. take another one that has to do with um, employment. And um, on one of the papers that I saw, it says the Ministry of Labor um, is still trying to cascade President Bill's you know, promise in terms of job creation. But now on the front page of Independent Observer, it says, why to us King Ho? It's a question being asked there. And again, the other one reads, Arise proposed liberalization of Pepel ports and railways a generational and visionary development. That, okay, this one, Arise Production Center set for 300,000 jobs. And um, I think let's take first those ones and try to see ways to address the issues that have been highlighted in those papers. I think job creation is one of um, the issues mm -hmm. that government is still grappling with. I like the phrase, grappling with. Have they looked at the minimum wage? You see, sometimes we start to talking about creating jobs. Up to now, 800,000 they work. You have a, 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 a three key children coming from Lombly to St. Anne's School. It's 20, 20, 20. It's over 600,000 a month times three. They will disturb corruption. We have to create the enabling environment. And this thing they're talking about, they said, I think they were bluffing about. It's two things I'm going to look at now. The real liberalization, sure. it has legal implications. So what are, the legal, what, what are the legal implications? Let me get them from you. When you've signed an agreement and you break that agreement and take another one, that is why it's the, 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 um, the agreement re reverts back to the government. But it, it was not done by the ministry and the MMA. And both, both are ministers in, in the government. One, now the, other, the one that was um, the professional head is the head as the ministry now. Let us look at it kindly. What is this going to be coming to do? It's to carry the workers from Pepel, from February to Pepel. You have to look at things. That's a railway policy. Is this the one that's going to build the railway? And then the second one is, you're talking about the Allies trying to bring, I think, we, um, cotton for, to complete, to complement with them. Um, so go. we cut it close. We let them kind of the yeah, yeah. We, we don't, we don't grow enough of this um, uh, cotton. So what do we import in or we assembly? You see, so many things. But, but, but Honor Gwamichi, as you talk of um, 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 the legal ramifications. Oh, in, but the, Leo, I'm not going to be an advocate for uh, Kino. So what I'm saying, as we talk of the legal ramifications in... To clarify to us, yes? Do you see government's credibility at stake in all of, in all of what we say? Do you need cognizance? At some point in time, we sign <laughs> an agreement with Arise, and all of a sudden... Yeah. The twist and saying another thing. Do you still see the credibility of government, particularly to the officials? Successive it? governments used to use high handed tactics, things is because now we get them before we are most of the people. We don't have trained negotiators in this country. Right. Why do you go for go negotiate for you? It can your personal agenda. Only and finish with that one and send government into trouble. We did it with Philip Brothers. When government wanted the money, they sold, marketable sold to somebody else. And the, that was why we moved from, from England and we had to go to America to do our monetary because there was an, uh, uh, what they call it? Um, uh, Where is that? In, in England, they, they froze our accounts. Up to now. That's why we're using the American route. But people don't talk about it. You go back to the, the what they call this thing, um, the full bridge. They were grumbling and everything. When they tried to maintain that price, the Chinese raised it to another three years or two years, from 25 to 27 to accommodate that four loans we are talking about. 
What did the minister say at the time? We will bypass use Lungi. And now look at the ferry cost now from Tagreen to Lungi. 53,000. Thank you very much. So, now, these are the problems. We don't negotiate well. So, but the point here, I say the legal implementation, you have to be bring them on the round table like this, come from a political crisis. They come now round table and they found it, they come on ground. Um, Musa, mm -hmm. what should we expect of um, our negotiators, particularly so for those in sectors where the country's economy hinges on? Say, for instance, those within the mine sector or perhaps the revenue generators of our country. What should we expect? Yeah, yes, when going into negotiations of this sort, we don't go there with begging bowl mentality. You don't come for invest in my country. Yes, me the go now, I don't get nothing. But I get the mineral. And you, you want the natural resource. But you don't come with everything. The infrastructure, the money, the, the come with more expertise. You know, let we, let we take time. Government for the take time. A lot of the negotiations in the past don't play in the favor of the investors. They don't play in the best interest of Salon. That's why this country remains poor and indebted. We fall on land from so many things. A lot of them bad negotiations there. You know, it affect the economy. We are still in deficit. Oh, we're not supposed to be. Well, this country is not supposed to be in deficit as a country with all the minerals around. Let us take our time, like Honorable Bamichidi said, let's have people who know how to negotiate. I, I, I am tempted to ask, mm -hmm. where do you see personal interest and country's interest in, in all of what we discuss? Your personal interest. Somebody is going, to, <laughs> somebody is going to append the signature so, on, on, on that document again, on behalf of Sierra Leone. Again, now ask the question back here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is the personal interest and mm -hmm. country interest in all of what we talk? Good. Now, now, now mm -hmm. we don't see our eyes not begin operated fully. Mm -hmm. Just yesterday, they engage you know, a whole lot of youths them mm -hmm. within Koya Chiefdom, we na Sungoya, mm -hmm. in relation to jobs. Me and you see your free cents, we see what's in the carwits, then, then you know, real cars them. Way from the inside of the real cars, it's like now nah, real cars for transport people. Mm -hmm. But again, you ask us a question which I can't respond to. But I think say from the press release will be don't come in before this time. It's like those real cars are coming in to ensure the cushion, the effects of transportation. Most of me, you know, I tell like now for working seven. We the try, try, try for drive from one area to another. But again, continue with your point. So I, I ask again. The other question that I ask is, do you see you see government of salon and credibility at stake most in terms of the manner to really negotiate? Yeah, to some extent. To some extent. And Musa, you see personal interest and the people are interest in all of it will talk. Government incredibility they are stake to some extent. Then the country they, they need of development also. We, we know they say they know for negotiate or they know for agree. But somebody get for sign on behalf of Sierra Leone. Not to all salon get for go sign. Now somebody when they put before nine get for go sign. And some signatures are very expensive. Samuel. Some people before they sign document in some offices if you don't do something, they will not sign those documents, like, like Honorable Bamikidi said. I know so. But, but, when you do that thing, and the members say, you come to Salon Day, when you do so, not to for you one, not to for you, your family, no more. Now for 7.8 million people, you go sign that document. And so when you sign, members say, if I do this, 7.8 million people get for loss. If I do this, you man and go lost job. If I do this, then I'm going to make each man and get your so, have that at the back of your mind when sending those documents. Yeah, answer that on question. Yes, yeah, yeah, so answer that question. Because, that, because, because I don't see which direction they go. I know the direction you are asked the question. Not to make we don't think at the top, the apex of the situation. I'm going to make seven million years for my own younger generation of Sierra person to create that bracket to help them to go into. That's the personal interest. Then you have you have credible investors, you have fly by night. Yes. And then because now you bother them, certain personal interest comes in. And the whole thing will be twist shift twisted to make sure you have undue advantage. Because 
demand any investor. For, the Chinese are very shrewd uh, negotiators so, and bargainers. So, 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 so uh, uh, that, 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 you know, that gives us the chance to ask another question again, say, um, of course, King Horon they operate for quite a while. He took over from uh, Africa Mineral because of the laxity of uh, Fadika. These are the repercussions. So now, on a on a Chidi, what are the guys for asking Nana that? Have we actually seen the required impact that all of us were yearning for? Mind you, as you government took as a loan. Get the first, get the facts correct now. Government took a loan for on behalf of from the Exim Bank on behalf of this Chinese. They paid it. Honorable, I'm well informed in terms of this issue. Well, I know, but I know yeah, that is why when you're asking me, I try to guard myself by not looking at things where they've already signed it. I don't want to create or that no music will say, teacher waiting. So now make a find out, say, now look and say, now we say, we already negotiate for the seven interest, like he said, the 7.8 million. When you pass on interest coming, look at some of the ideas. You're talking about climate change. Look at what they're doing with their timber. Is it right and proper? So Have they put a ban on it? Um, you and I know the huge developments that have been undertaken by the Chinese in continent. But is it safe so far at this particular moment to continue to give them um, most of what this country relied on for future generations, Musa? I'm, af I'm afraid we have to be careful. We have to be very careful. Now, if you leave this country and you go out to do investment, they scrutinize you to the very last letter before they allow you to do business in their country. So when you come here, let us also do similarly. As I say, Sierra Leone don't, don't they lost Boku Boku Tem. Which one? Boku Man still not get job. And, and I make this political grumble a plenty around uh, right now. Well, they don't sign this peace talk because I do youths. They sit down and say anything. Say insightful words, say provocative words. But if they are engaged, that all go down. So, we want investors that really come. We know they can't flee this country. Like all of them, they say, they fly, fly by night investors. They should be scrutinized and make sure the fly by night are stopped in their tracks. And then we get the very meaningful ones to come here and invest. So, with all of these blunders, who are they really blame? Because. Who are you? It seems there, there is a blunder in most of the markets. Everything we are doing, instead of progressing, we are regressing. Let me look back and tell you. You talk about this um, uh, arise. It's a very good venture. Sure. Because creating jobs. Creating jobs is one. But again, yeah, you we, we benefit from whatever Obama make Agua some that it, 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 it allowed this to be to American market. They opened it up for us. So let me allow you to land on this arise issue. The arise issue is to me quite impressive. On paper. You see, but the, the other thing we do, they let take all these alumni and kill them go, go um, sightseeing Agabon and bring them come back, promote them. Let us see their visible thing, what they're going to do. If they, when you liberalize it, right, then Arise can take that one from Ferenberg and go around with a with, with domestic rail line. I think that's, I, I think that's, 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 I think that's, that's the starting point. But then you have to do survey and make sure because it is not it's a social service for the citizens of Sierra Leone, like what the ferry is. Do you think Sierra Leone is hard to develop? No. It's commitment and be patriotic for once. All the personal things, where you get as it money, shall not get pocket, where you die, you die, all the money left right now. You know, say more minority money to say where they die, then they go turn it in their pocket. Clap and empty and that's when they go to so. So Lord begin look and say, during my time, I was able to do certain things for Sierra Leone. When we get that mentality, then Sierra Leone will develop. Now we should make sure we maintain this fragile peace we are holding, than putting rules on it that we there for do have, be a demand, five years, and then go and campaign and do the right work. Um, Musa, yeah. you get that view of similar Sierra Leone as we believe, say, with Arise, Sierra Leone will rise again? Uh, the with time, with time, the deal way or the agreement with them will sign, as time they go, it will prove itself. As time they go, things will prove themselves. It's very important to have this agreement. Very. 
Because on a Bamichi, the waiting they want a person in mind. Oh. If the arguments are on the air for many people now the fact see with the fit salon initiative, the fit salon agenda, it is so very much of haste that we try to forget such kinds of developments. We are in we go get When is it coming? I think very soon what soon? because the way Listen to me. The only way you can use that game now is part of our transportation policy. Mm -hmm. Like when they want to want, wanted to do that ring road from the north corner and come back. Not so? That's a ring road, like north south circular. Mm -hmm. That's the dream for Sierra Leoneans. But if we don't have stability and you have credible investors coming to commit themselves, sometimes what is our problem is we don't want to put nothing in the business. Say, so, okay, take 49. I'll give you my 51%. I'll provide. This is what I'm going to provide. But you don't know, provide that you write 51%. Then after the halfway through, they'll come and tell you, uh, corporate social responsibility. Go and pay your tax and leave this corporate social rep responsibility to, to the government. That is their own business. You, you see, look at the thing. They took the diamond thing again, uh, SLMC. Luckily, Barclays Bank just made 94 million profit. They sold it to the government for uh, one pound. You see what they have done with proper management? It's improving. But when we start putting ourselves in that critical position by cre creating undue advantage, the best don't get sentiment come when sentiment comes in, these are the end result of bad investment. So what's how they put the Ministry of Labor and all of which we the talk? The labor for the work? Yes. Let, them try, let, let, let the minister begin look at the the minimum wage back. Indeed to be adjusted. Honorable Amichi, as you talk about minimum wage, this draw me attention to this story political political newspaper published where you see less than ten percent of journalists. Less than ten percent of journalists on assets. Um this is a real problem. Mm -hmm. Of course, us as journalists. Let me also know this stop. What's in this mean? Honorable Amichi. I find that hard to understand. Less than 10%, you don't know. Oh, you understand? I'm very well, but you don't talk to me. <laughs> you go pay man, you still live on the ground. Yeah, yeah. That's what soldier man between you and water. Go get the 400,000 euros. Oh. Eh? They, they still live on the ground. What's the because of all this corruption and the soldier there? You come, cut off, give the money exact salary. Then you buy one bag rest. Don't you so? If you were able to buy one bag rest. Or you buy the rest, you add the rest cost of rest at the time. Inside that thing, because when you begin giving a supply, now it's the smart thing they can't say. One big, big man who can take 10 bags inside your ration, that they give one, one, one bag rest. So, if you say the labor ministry don't lag behind in terms of the work for ensuring the money, so no, I don't see they don't lag behind. No. The oh. government lag behind that government policy, not, not labor ministry, now yeah. But that, now you know, now when the minister have to initiate, so now labor ministry is behind this. That's more the reason why I ask labor ministry. This one, let's journalists on NASIT. No, the NASIT 10 percent, no, that means they're not the pay NASIT. No, no, I understand yes. what you see the same. Somebody, they are coming. I, I understand no, what you see the same. No, 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 not to labor ministry, no, no, no. <laughs> Because the IMC, IMC being supposed to regulate them here and make sure say hundred percent of journalists are on NASIT. But here, here are the figures: less than ten percent. What's the minimum wage being okay on NASIT? Even the minimum wage, some employers not they pay. No, well, thank you. The eight hundred thousand. So what they pay? Not they pay. They depend on uh, look at the they pay security. Them. Okay, you go put somebody <laughs> for look over property worth millions of millions of millions of dollars. They won't, won't wonder you get 500,000. We're not up to the minimum wage. Up to 600 at the minimum wage. Now 800. Now 800 now. Yeah. A lot of employers are not following this minimum wage. You see? I, 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 I think this particular issue is still the talk on our no way. But nonetheless, I think it's high time at least. Let go and look at it again. Numbers that begin go up and all the rest. But nonetheless, now we take another issue. It has to do with Parliament. Parliament just approve um, Parliament approves eight nominees, including three ambassador of, ambassadors, mm -hmm. of which one is the ambassador to the People's Republic of China, who is he happens to be the former minister of um, agriculture, um, Karim? Abu Bakar Karim, mm -hmm. and um, also um, another one to Ethiopia, from which I, from which I understand. Is the Minister of um, Western Area. 
the, uh, the outgoing. Um, Bundu Safa. No, the outgoing minister of Western area, Western region, have been added to this. No, the new one that takes. Oh, the new one that takes. That Ethiopia. Okay, okay. King. Jolif King. Yeah, King. I didn't take over Western region. But again, how Bundu Safa will go into Ethiopia and the, and, uh, the African Union. Ahmed Tijan Fadluddin will be going to um, Qatar mm. and also Abu Bakr Karim will be going to the People's Republic of China and I think 11 other countries. I think it covers Australia mm. and, and the other countries within the Asian bloc. Mm -hmm. um, but again, there are a lot of issues that you know, we raised up yesterday. One of my colleagues, my, uh, our parliamentary correspondent, did a story that has to do with this one. He mentioned a very critical document which was not presented for the approval to have taken place. But nonetheless, according to he quoted that um, the Speaker of Parliament says he was under pressure to ensure the approval you know, takes place. Well, again, I'll start off with you. Mm. Because you... you, 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 you he, he's, he's an old MP. Of course. So, so he, he, he knows what to operate. For obvious reasons. <laughs> now, on a more serious note, these ambassadors will be leaving the shores of Syria to represent us yeah. in different countries. And they will be referring to them as His Excellencies. And again, yeah. their stay in those countries, you know, the expectation is that they will bring back investors to come in mm -hmm. and invest in Syria. What should mm -hmm. we expect of them, most of those who have made marks in Syria, if any, have made their marks in Syria before departing before the to the the various countries that will be going on. The about classic China. thing about it is uh, your approach to life. And the most of the thing is, all these credentials and everything, we are setting the bar so high that is not person. Is he a fit and proper person to continue with that job? That's all you need. And then it is, the, it is us. We are putting so many things. That was why everybody was running for mango tick uh, masters. So do, you, so do you think the bar is set so high in Parliament? We create certainty on necessary things. Is it a future and proper person? You cannot have a degree and you're not a future proper to, to hold that position. You can, be, you can be subjected to rejection. But at the same time, sometimes when big man they talk, not begin talk, but say under pressure. In all the day, in all day. You know, let us be honest to each other. In all day, in all day, when I get to committee room, when I discuss in a committee room, you understand? But now, in the other, I say, oh, you cannot try to make inclusive government. But you are feeling the ball in space. You see, certain questions, I don't like to even participate. I just say, just give peace a chance for once. I mentioned the first pass, the post, the repercussion. That's why we chose the alternative of. What do you call this? Um, 50, 50, 55%. Not the 55%. Um, yeah. the, the PR system. system. Mm -hmm. So, so at, um, it can be an inclusive that everybody will participate. Mm -hmm. Now, it's the same thing that we are experiencing. The cut around the middle. In that speech, it's for you to try to galvanize the people you are leading. You're not leading APC, you're not leading SAPP. You are leading for, you are leader of Sierra Leone. And you should, you should make sure you are in charge. Now that the last chip shape you go half half half, then they bring stability in the country. I, I see you talk about the cost cuts in governance, but um, we know we talk on any. No, we talk that I just mentioned it in passing. In a problem. No, I be uh, Honorable mention see the criteria the way they put forward for approve somebody in a parliament. I think who feels it knows it. He is fully aware of what's yeah, he, happening. He, he's there. been there. And so, mm -hmm. you see the criteria in the set. Unnecessary. The are very high. high. Yes. You Un often say mm -hmm. it's very necessary that some checks are put in place to ensure you get the right person at the right side. The, what is the right person? Academic qualification. Listen, academic position. You know what is happening in this country right now? Honorable, we should be talking about that. No, 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 get no, 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 get them back. no, 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 in comportment, you do a background check and everything. That's what you are looking for. Not the doc said. Not the six months that you're talking about. The first degree gives you a chance to get open the door. Okay. Musa, yeah. you're officer for Sedibana, I'm also we come for doing them. 
the appointees and even approval and the well of fire. And obviously, parliament's giving me for the, the adequate checks for ensure so we get guys. For yeah, the, the checks, the checks for the. But like, just like we all observe, I'm not thinking we for set them unnecessarily high. For what? Why? Our democracy is just twenty something years old. Mm. America, they are, they are they have been on it for over two hundred years. So let me know that let me not be harsh. In church, you'll be get their masters. Let me not be harsh on myself unnecessarily. Sometimes then they bring all the half half problem here. Let us let us let us start with the basics. The basics. The basic as time they go to be a parliamentary and it's just have is that to formal education. That's what you need. We improve on it. Now now we realize say if you go to Kenya, then they get education inside the local language. You go to South Africa, then they get education inside the local language. To Nigeria, to some extent now, inside the local language. We started off with English or nothing else. Now, the first, the, the problem begin. If, 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 if you don't learn, if you know, if you don't know, speak the English, you get for learning inside English, you get etc. etc. So, we have been too harsh on ourselves. So, I said, now we create a barrier for ourselves. No local language, no the way. Pass SLBC, then they read news per local language. But nobody knows the land book inside Saloya per, per local language. What they happen in other African countries. So a lot of them say, let us stop being harsh on ourselves. So let's start with the basics. Somebody don't get the basic. Check. Yes, a fine for set for scrutiny, especially when it comes to this passing areas. No, no, but what you, this scrutiny is all about. Now, what is this scrutiny? Now, what you give them? Now, you this scrutiny is so if you not put on the, mm. they don't have a scrutinize them. What you give them and what you don't do. Yeah, what you what you write simply then and then you paper then the scrutinize. For you. But now you have to look at certain in common. But if you don't put something on paper, you don't care and go. Well that well that is well that the same level you talk. I tell you that what you put the paper you never do. That's what you put on paper you don't care go is you don't put say this, this, and this. Yeah, that's it. So now you know that the person will do now get criminality now in mind. How about Michidu? It's not the future post by purpose in them. But Michidu, with all of it, we say now this morning. You feel say the is the country they get issue and problems the way Boko pass in people then? The issue and problem we're gonna discuss in I'm near you the creator for this unnecessary the creator for myself. What you do? We only encourage you say we don't let nobody. I know this pack about afraid of bad that. But the that happened. When you so don't get it's not gonna help you promote you. You know why make the United Nations Nigeria man in their man full of the where this man go, it do one post the kind sign, not so for which to junk about them go. Almost post the United Nations, United Nations, you know it 15. And I post the joke junk about going inside. Almost person doing the job with your go inside. You see that these are the kind of thing. You don't let yourself, you don't become you don't make sense of being a salute. When you go outside of this con this jurisdiction. With the luck we say, as you come back, so not the division, they come back. Okay. Tell me something, party, because you don't talk a language, you don't do something. You know, say, you know, argue that position, do That is why, if you notice a schoolmate's tie, bond of friendly, they try to heal people. Like with sports, the heal. Religion, the heal wounds. Because at least that imam day, within that pulpit or that, any side of whether you imam or reverend, no. it's a congregate, tell your congregate. Let us love one another and unite ourselves in spirit and in truth. So, on a more lighter note, um, Miss Salon, then the whole Miss Salon 2023 tomorrow. Who's I? I've been to mm. And this one, I for ensure, see, then give more life to the tourism industry. Mm. And this is uh, an event we in the whole, all the time. For ensure, see, we. Sister them, portray them beauty, not just physical beauty, but even in the mental beauty. Show how accurate they think mm -hmm. because the winner can go and represent Salon. But again, the theme for this year, as I've been on the lead just now, um, is centered around a healthy environment in a world of beauty, peace, and integrity. Honorable Bamichidi and Musa, and a few words as we decide for wrap up this program. Waiting we expect from then kind program there and waiting on a say this one into the tourism sector more so when we see a lot of issues that we don't they happen more so with the uh, it, 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 it portray the image also the beauty one comportment like 
because it will be, it will, this same thing I feel like waiting that in the parliament also. Is he a fit and proper person? That big word that one do. What a double masters are the fit and proper person. You have the you can you can you can't communicate well to people. Because you're you you're supposed to be the eye, right, the nose of the country, as in parliament, as in this beauty project, because you are representing Sierra Leone. You know Georgian by the English language. But you can talk like you or talk the language with the epidemic person could be the care to work. I can't go to China. Okay. You're not going there with Tawandi. But you go, you see China, you come back, you go tell people say, come on, China. That is comportment. You can talk the Korean your own language, but the, it, it will communicate itself to you with the watcher for to say, ah, you get training, you get this, you know harsh, you know this. And that's what you look for. So you can be a good ambassador for you. Musa. Yeah, I only hope the, the organizers of the event, yes, the tourism stuff. We only hope the organizers do justice tomorrow when they go. Uh, let them get the right people who will be judging those ladies. Not only the physical beauty, but also the intellect, like how, like you say, because they never pose questions to them. After they don't display the physical beauty, they never pose questions. Sometimes critical questions. How you handle them questions then they and you mannerism on stage, on and off stage, you mannerism all that they get for count. Now get for make you win, now get for make you lose. So let, let let the judges there do justice to the event and give salon the right person we get for go represent with. Okay, thank you so very much, Darcy Musa, for your time this morning and Honey Bamchidi. We're glad you forget to know this morning, and this is where we draw the curtains down into this edition of the program, Fun Speech on AYV Television.